everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you just joined us. Welcome! So, for today's video, I'm going to show you what I bought from Primark. Primark, there's not a lot I bought. Well, I went out shopping to Primark and M&S, but M&S I just got food items. So, from Primark I got these little hair clips. I think I'll use the pink ones just now. Let's see if I can actually get it going. You just go like this, you just go. I think these are just to get it out your face so that when you want to do your makeup, it doesn't really work for me because my hair's short. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, yeah. Well, EastEnders is really dr getting really dramatic at the minute with that storyline about the racism, it really was affecting me. I was crying, I really was, it was that bad. So, yeah. So I just got gluten-free sausage rolls. I don't know if this is right, I think my hair's supposed to be... Do you know what? I'm just gonna take it off and I'm gonna do it to one side. Ugh, I just want it out my face. Because tomorrow I'm getting it trimmed. That's better. Oh, these are actually quite good. So, I've seen everybody use these, but I've never used them. So, uh, a lot of things don't keep my hair out of my face. But anyway, I bought that. I bought another one of these belts because my last belt broke. And I was gutted because I used it all the time. And I bought these nail file and buffery things. And I also bought this, which I'd already bought for another brand before, but I didn't know they're not all meant to remove makeup. I thought they were all makeup removing pads. So I got confused. Why is this not opening now? I think it's broken. Fucking hell. Oh, I think it's this bit. Ah, uh, it is. It's this. So I got, there wasn't really much in Primark, I was a bit disappointed, but I got the makeup remover, which I'm going to use today. Uh, that's to cleanse your skin, so I'm going to use that with my cleanser. And exfoliate, I'm going to exfoliate my skin with that. I think I might do all three every night now with these and just wash them every night. These are cool. I especially love this one because it's pink, 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 and I bought that. And I'm just going to try my belt on, see what it looks like. I'm just drinking um, a watermelon hydration smoothie. And I don't really like smoothies, the taste as much, but I do it for the vitamins and the mineral content. So yeah. Uh, bleh, bleh. I took that because my pee's been very dark lately. I've been getting uh, like what looks like discharge, but it's not. It's just because I'm dehydrated because I'm not drinking enough. I'm just bored of drinking water. And I can't drink caffeine because it gives me a headache. Migraine. Can't drink fizzy juice because it gives me, because um, a lot of it has caffeine in and sweetener gives me migraines. Can't drink orange juice because it interacts with the bloody um, magnesium that I use for my migraines and it makes me feel sick. Don't like apple juice. Don't like um, cranberry juice has sweetener in. Don't like pineapple juice. So it's just pissed me off. The only thing I've got is fucking decaf tea or water or fucking smoothies and I hate. So I'm just, it gets annoying. I'm trying to get this off. I don't know how you get this off. Maybe I can, yep, I've done it. So I'm just going to fasten my belt. The jeans are slightly tighter than what I'd like them to be, but if I go up a size, they'll be too big. So, and no stretch anyway, they usually do. <clears throat> so, 
So this is the outfit that I bought. I bought these straight leg blue jeans. I bought this top that's got love thou for you. And it's got this on the back. Then I bought this nice buckle detailing belt, which I do like. And these jeans are just my color. I love light denim blue with a nice pink top. It just, it, it screams to me uber feminine. I absolutely love it. It's just what I love. I love, love, love it. And I just love to tuck a jumper in. But what I don't like the jumper to be f like tucked in straight and neat. I like it to be a bit, because then it gives me a bit of a def, gives me a bit of ruffling at the waist. So I actually do, this jumper is a little bit more cropped than I would like, because I'm not a fan of cropped stuff, but hey ho. So I'm just loving this. It is so cute. I'm just loving it. I think with my Vans, I could wear this. I could wear this with my Docs. I could wear this with my Converse. I, I wouldn't wear it with heels. That's the only thing I wouldn't wear it with. But isn't it stunning? Just this colour on me. I love pink. Anyone that knows me knows I am pink obsessed. And they, these jeans were 16 quid. <coughs> These things were three quid. Three quid. This was two fifty. These were two fifty. The belt was two pound fifty. And wait a minute. Oh, this bloody thing. The bag's got caught in the chair, everyone. <laughs> Yeah. And then I bought one of these bags because they're on paper because the the um, paper bags are shite. Because the paper bags are shite, so I got one of these. Is my where is the receipt in case we take anything back? Oh, and these were one pound fifty and the top because I've got the top on right now. The top was, the bag was 120 and the top was, the straight leg jeans were £16. And the top was a tenner, so all in all, I spent £36.70. And I've just dropped my camera, little thing in my jiggy bobby thing in my jig, so yeah. I just think this pink complements my skin tone so well. I just absolutely love this pink on me, it is my favourite type of pink. In the whole wide world, it's this kind of subtle, dusty type of, this kind of pink. It's like a dusty sort of pink. Like this. This. So, to try and get more water into my system, I am going to, I think I've got some in my flat, but I've ordered more just in case. I'm going to start drinking rhubarb and ginger tea cold. Like a cold brew, because it can be used as a cold brew. But I didn't realise to make a cold brew instant, instead of leaving it to seep overnight, you can put it in a cup of boiling water, and then you can then then you leave it to cool. You put a bit of cold in it and leave it to stew for five minutes, and put ice in a bottle and drink it. That's what I'm going to start doing. I think. But I think I'm going to use three tea bags for this, or I might just do it overnight with a bottle. But. I, I really must get my water intake up because that's all I've had to drink today is that that amount and that's not a lot including this tiny smoothie so and I'm peeing constantly I'm peeing all the time in the winter I pee all the time in the winter 
and then it comes out cloudy, it comes out with bits in, and I've been tested and there's nothing going on, it's just me not drinking enough, so yeah. So from Marks and Spencer's I got gluten-free macaroni cheese, gluten-free sausage rolls, gluten-free quiche, one for the cheese and onion one for Peter, and I got myself the cheese and bacon one, and then I got myself these like cake slices that are gluten-free, and I got myself these. Now, I love these, because the issue I've got with these, when you buy them in bigger packets, they don't have a proper closing on them, so you only eat some of them, and then they can't close, but these are so handy. These are my favourite way to have them in a snack bag. I just love them, and yeah. But sorry there wasn't more to show on my video, because I didn't really... Um, there wasn't really much in Primark. There was a lot of stuff that I liked the look of, but they didn't have my size, so yeah. I can't keep these clothes on for too long either, because it will give me a rash. So I will have to go and wash them now. But hey ho, I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I actually love this outfit, it's too cute. I have to say, I think these are a bit tight, but I have got leggings on underneath. Uh, tights underneath and a sucky in thing so maybe if I took all that off it would make a difference but I only did it for quickness for the video because I was doing the, that and I also went to a super blog and I got I bought I can go find me I bought the Palmer's Coconut Butter Magic Foot Scrub and I bought the cream because tomorrow night I'm going to have a day where I do my feet because my feet are in need of TLC. I bought some under eye patch things to help with the, to help with puffiness in my eyes. These are the masking soothing ones. They're not the best for anti-aging or anything like that. They do de-puff. I bought this because I've been getting spots. I bought the Pure Clay L'Oreal Detox Mask. Because um, I didn't get to lush in time, well, and I wasn't anywhere near a lush. I bought hair bubbles because I'm always needing fucking hair bubbles. You know how people say that there's, there's like a sock fairy or something, mm -hmm. right? Well, I think it's a fucking bubble fairy. Like, mine just disappear all the time. I bought sensitive tooth flosses. These ones on the stick are the only ones I can use them with dyspraxia. I cannot use the ones on the, the thing. I'm sorry if you can hear noise, that's Peter flicking the lights on and off again. <laughs> Anyhow, coconut oil, deep conditioning protein pack. I'm going to do that tomorrow as well on my hair. That's the palm of coconut stuff. I love this stuff. And I also got a callus remover because I've got a callus in my foot. I know it's not a nice thing to talk about. And I also got a um, foot filing smoother. So tomorrow I'm going to have a pamper day. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. But this stuff is amazing. I use it while I'm in the shower quite a lot, this stuff. And it's good. And any excess that you've got left over, just use it on your hands while washing. Go and wash your hands and use a tiny bit that's left on your hands. And oh my God, your hands are smooth. And I love Superdrugs bags because they are pink. And I got money off because Peter's a student. And uh, he gave me his student discount. So I get student discount. So yeah. So that's what I got from Sainsbury. No, Superdrug. So these are my spare pair of glasses because my other ones are dirty. But look. I think they do kind of look nice, but I'm not the biggest fan of them as they are the clear ones. I think they make my nose look big, but they'll do for now because my other ones are dirty. So, I just wanted to say about transgender people and anybody in the world, really, sizes in clothes shops. I, for a long time, have been, yes, I'm a size 8 now, I'm skinny as fuck. Oh, I'm a size 16 and I'm a fat bitch because... These jeans are a size 16 and they hurt me. Uh, they're, they're a tiny bit tight, they will stretch. But the ones I've got in my bedroom are a size 16 and they fucking are way too baggy. I have to put a belt on them. So it just, 
kind of pissing annoying, do you know what I mean? I hate that, it just really bugs me. So I have um, issues. So when it comes to clothing size, don't go with whatever, Go, just go with what fits you, feels right. As long as you're healthy and happy, that's all that matters. Clothing sizes don't matter. And I just wanted to touch a little bit about um, some tips I'll give you for trans women for dressing. So a lot of us trans women are inverted triangles, which is like this shape. So the, the skinniest part of our body is going to be the hips, the legs, and the, the widest part of our body, and the hips. So the widest part of our body is going to be up here, the shoulders. So we want to, we want to not draw attention to them. So no shoulder pads, no ruffles, no big puffy sleeves or anything like that. And we want, and we don't want to wear off the shoulder. Now, the thing is, is if it's two shoulders, that's bad. But if it's actually a big strap and one shoulder, fantastic, best thing you could wear. And if it's got detailing at the bottom, as long as the bottom half of your bo of your outfit is bulkier and bigger than the top half you'll be. A thing made, and I've always noticed that with my body shape being a bit bit more masculine at the, on the bottom, um, slender on the bottom and bigger on the top, but not the boob area, I found that um, having something that defines the waist, but my waist naturally um, looks like it's higher up, so I tend to wear high-waisted stuff. And I find it really good as well if you get dresses that are wrap around the ones that go round and you tie, they're really good. And anything that's V-neck is really good. And off the shoulder, one shoulder. It's what I meant by off the shoulder not being good. If both shoulders were on show, that's not good. But if it's just one, it balances it out. Especially if it's a thick strap, I've, I, I love it. And just wearing things that are not too fitted on the bottom, no skinny jeans. Bearing in mind, if you feel comfortable and you like to wear these things, you feel confident as fuck, wear what the fuck you want, but this is just the rules of dressing. I would go for straight leg jeans in a lighter wash. Um, it's just what's flattering. Um, so, I'm going to show you. It's just what's flattering. So, yeah. It's just what flattering, there you go, and that's it. Well, I've just realised I forgot to film an outro for that video. So thank you for watching, everyone. Like, share and subscribe the video, and I love you all. And thank you for all watching my YouTube videos. I have a hair mask on, um, an Olaplex, and face stuff on. So thank you for watching. You've watched Kyla. Bye!